Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECMW Ethics Extended Model for today's second video with a focus on the UK and Ireland. So this is the uh, second of the uh, EC Extended updates that we do uh, every week do the uh, main European outlook with this one on Tuesday. And then we have uh, always have a look at the UK and Ireland, you know, uh, when it updates again uh, at the end of the week, either on a Friday or on a Saturday morning. So I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first of video C was our 6 a.m. upload. Got weekend forecast and a centre morning day coming to you later on today. So please like, share, subscribe on the air. So thank you so very much for doing that. Thank you so very much to ECMD of the INT as well for supplying Charts. Thank you so much, EC. <laughs> right, well, we're going to start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure. Oh, by the way, this is going to get us all the way to the 19th of December, so we're going pre Christmas. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, my bun is to run on the top of the Hey! Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, we're going to pre Christmas. So, um, hang about, hang in there. Hold your horses, hold your horses, hold your horses. And, uh, and we'll have that a little bit later on. But we'll just start off with week one, which is the 7th to the 14th of November. And uh, next week, basically, has low pressure in the Atlantic, as we see here, with high pressure across much of... Europe and winds will be coming up from a southwesterly direction, very mild southwesterly wind direction, air originating somewhere like the Canary Islands again. Um, 500 millibar heights and all, it looks like that. Low pressure again, uh, or below average heights out to west, above average heights down to our south and also to our east. And in comes those winds from off the Atlantic. So, temperature, temperature anomaly. For uh, next week is very mild, not just for UK and Ireland, but for most parts of Europe actually. Uh, between around three and three, three and six degrees uh, above average, and the precipitation anomaly is uh, wetter than average in the north and west, but drier than average in the south and east. Wow! 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 Um, I don't know. Right, so week two. That's week one done. That's that one done. Week two will be the 14th, 21st of November. High pressure takes over then. So going to the third week of November. And uh, it looks like we're high and dry, really, doesn't it? With high pressure um, uh, over the country. Drying us out, really. And, uh, by God, do I need to dry out. No, um, the 500 millibar heights are absolutely fine. I've only been having tea and working all night. Um, over 500 millibar, I promise. 500 millibar heights are normally has below average heights to our north and above average heights to our south. So that implies it's a little bit more unsettled, actually, especially so for the north. Unsettled in the north, maybe. We'll see in a mo, but the temperature anomaly still looks very mild here, above average temperatures by around one to three degrees across most parts of Ireland and also the UK too. And the precipitation on that does look dry, doesn't it? For most areas, high and dry. Maybe near and on towards western Scotland, but I think most areas will be going drier than average there. Right, okay, that's that one done. We're cooking with gas. Let's have a week uh, free. Which will be the 21st to 28th of November. Here we go. Oh, no. I want to go here first. What am I doing? Uh, right. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> uh, high pressure pulling out to the west, really, uh, this time. So, high pressure still dominating, but changing position, moving into the Atlantic. Well, perhaps bringing something a little bit cooler uh, around the high pressure from the north and west. The 500 millibar high tsunami. That's still a sort of zonal, though, doesn't it? Very westerly, below average heights to the north, above average heights to the south, and high pressure uh, and low pressure combined to bring in like a westerly flow. Flash a pancake, that looks like, doesn't it? Oh, well, the temperature on me is cooling though, a little bit, actually. 
So um, we're losing those very mild temperature anomalies. We'll be reverting uh, either to average or to no signal. And you've already seen the precipitation anomaly. But there it is. Very weak signals. Um, no, a bit dry on average to our south. Maybe a little bit wet on average to the north. Right. Week four will be the 28th of November to the 5th of December. Here we go. High pressure still dominating. Look at this. Proper old November drought setting up here. High and dry right over top of the country. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that. So it's a high pressure on the move, though, here. It's a high pressure beginning to reach a little bit further northwards. Could be decided to bring more of an easterly flow there. What's the temperature anomaly doing? Let's have a look. Uh, so, about average, maybe no signal, more than average around the coast, but that's due to the warm uh, sea surface temp temperature anomalies left over from the hot summer and the warm autumn. I think there's a bit of a cool down that could be going on here at the end of November. And the precipitation anomaly, very weak signal, but with high pressure right over top of the country, you would expect it to be pretty dry. Right, well, week uh, five will be the 5th to the 12th of December. Here we go. Brace yourself. Oh! <laughs> So sorry, everyone. High pressure goes north. Look at that. High pressure goes up to Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure is around Spain. And could we be starting to bring something much colder in from the north and from the east there? Dun, dun, dun. I wonder. Let's have a look at 500 millibar height. Oh, well, that doesn't look anywhere near as exciting, does it? Hang on, what's going on here, though? Hold on. Hold on, everyone. So the 500 millibar heights haven't updated there, have they? I've just noticed that. Oh, gosh. Well, that's why they're not tallying up then, isn't it? Because the 500 millibar heights... I don't know what's happened here, but the 500 millibar heights... Uh, um, from Monday, 31st of October. Everything else, all of the other products, base time is Thursday, the 3rd of November. Look at that! Look at that! Dum, dum, dum! But the 500 millibar heights are still reflecting Monday's update. So that's why the, um, items have been looking a little bit off, I think. Um, especially the third route we're going. So, so I mean, look at the 500, the mean cell pressure anomaly for this week, uh, 5th uh, of December to 12th, with that area of high pressure around Greenland and Iceland, which is completely different <laughs> to this, really, isn't it? Well, that's a mystery, isn't it? That's a mystery, I don't know. So ignore it. All the 500 millibar height anomaly charts that you've seen in this update, ignore them. Throw them in the bin and, uh, and ignore. Uh, right, so so we want to ignore, we'll get rid of the 500 millibar height then. Um, so we'll just do mean cell pressure um, and uh, temperature precipitation then for weeks five and six. Uh, right, so getting things back. <laughs> On track. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's been a long day. Um, Debbie's back on track. Week five means the pressure anomaly has a blocking area of high pressure around green, low pressure around Spain, and we might be bringing a wind from an east or a northeast direction. The temperature anomaly for week five is cooling down to average uh, or has no signal. I reckon we'd be getting colder there. And precipitation wise, it looks dry on average out to our north and west, and that's because we've got a blocking feature near Iceland and Greenland. Right, finally, we get to week six, which is the 12th to the 19th of December, the uh, week before Christmas. Looks like this. Let's have a look, 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 let's have a look. Oh! <laughs> Uh, high pressure is to the north. Low pressure is to the south. Could that be turning cold? Uh, could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it be turning cold? Uh, 
I wonder. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. You notice how the orange, well, the pinks and the oranges and the reds are gradually draining away. Uh, the model is stubbornly refusing to actually turn the temperature anomaly colder than average. But I reckon we are turning colder here as we go into December on this EC update. And precipitation-wise, lastly, uh, looks drier than average up towards Scandi, doesn't it? Could we have a Scandi high on our hands there? And maybe a little bit of an easterly wind. I wonder. I wonder. Ooh. Well, what an update that was, wasn't it? It was shocker, weren't it? Uh, I don't know, but it all, went, all fell apart with the 500 mil about height. But never mind. I think I brought it back on track and salvaged it. Well, that's it for <laughs> this update, then. Uh, shambles that it turned <laughs> into. To in the end, but never mind, we got there really. And the general upshot is very mild first half to November and quite uh, unsettled as well. Then turning drier, anti cyclonic, uh, maybe a little bit of a gruesome too, some second half of uh, November, and then, 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 then into December, and we might. We might, 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 might start turning colder if that high pressure gets itself to Greenland. We shall see. Right, that's it for this video then. If you enjoyed it, and why wouldn't you have done, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Nobody does it like Gab. I'm sure you'll agree. And uh, we'll be back later on with your weekend forecast and a tent of morning day or two. But for this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.